Hi, this is a video about the ThoroSeal product that I use to seal my pond. It's basically a, a concrete sealer. Uh, part of that is Acryl 60 as well, which is sort of like a super glue or a glue that you, you mix with the ThoroSeal and it's supposed to give a better adhesive. Uh, I'm not quite sure it works or not, but uh, I'll talk a little bit about that later. And then just a final warning not to use Pond Armor. This is a epoxy type uh, product, very expensive, and it, it you just need so much of it, it's not even worth all using. But just I, I just recommend staying away from it. Yeah, as you can see, uh, this is a, a, a pond that I, I sealed today. Um, as you can see, it's just really a sort of a, it's, it's almost like mortar. So if you've, if you've ever used mortar previously, it's, it's kind of more of a, a runny solution that, that kind of mixes in the same way. You throw it in a, in a barrel or a wheelbarrow. Uh, you, you basically take a krill 60 and it's basically one part a krill 60 and three parts water. Uh, and you basically just, uh, mix it together, you leave it for 20 minutes, you come back and you just mix it again just to make sure this, that it really has actually uh, soaked properly and there's no sort of um, inconsistencies or, or dry spots or bumps or uh, sort of clots in, in there. So you just mix it again, make sure that it's that's as smooth as, uh, as possible uh, and, and fairly runny. Uh, follow the instructions. I mean, make sure that you do read the instructions. Uh, you need to have a certain temperature before you can use a product. It's got to be above four degrees, uh, you know, so obviously you don't want it to be raining. So make sure that you check the weather um, before you do it, right? But um, anyway, so just as you see in the video, this is this is an, uh, the my larger pond, which is about 1,800 uh, US gallons, which I used last year. Uh, I used Thorough Seal to actually seal it, right? And it's still, it's still going great this year, right? So my other two ponds, which I actually did, these, the middle one and the lower one, as you can see there, I did these in 2010, October 2010. And I, I used a lot of mortar on the walls, which I recommend you don't. I mean, try even these shelves, these kind of ledges, as you've seen here, I use mortar underneath them to kind of uh, create them. Uh, but I highly recommend you don't do that. Those are kind of my sort of learning mistakes uh, as I kind of built this pond. Uh, just make sure that, you know, even these walls, as you can see this main wall that you're looking at here, I had mortar on here, I ripped this off this year just because it was kind of breaking apart in that. So um, try try and do as much as you can with concrete. Uh, the, the mortar definitely does give it a nice smoother look and um, allows you to apply the thorough seal quite nicely, but it, it does actually break apart. I mean, really mortar is, is meant to, to is sort of hold hold bricks together, not, not necessarily be put on walls and expect it to last. But in, in some cases, most of my walls here are actually still do have mortar on it uh but definitely where the waterfall is is kind of where it kind of i guess took a lot of the the water flow for two three years and eventually just started deteriorating so i basically rebuilt it this year with concrete um and, and basically you just take you take a, a masonry what they call a masonry brush it, it really just looks like a sort of miniature broom and um any hardware store should really have it or know what it is. You can Google it. It's called a masonry brush. It's just really a brush with a handle. And you, you mix it and then you basic mix it to a runny solution. Not too runny. Just be careful again. It's, it's kind of like a, not, not a thick paste, but it's, uh, it's, it's, it's just a bit more, uh, thinner than, than a paste would be. Um, so, and when, once you've got the right consistency, uh, you just basically, uh, brush it on. So you brush it on. Just make sure that the the seal is sort of a, a, a paste enough that it, it's runny enough, but not too runny. If it's too runny, it's not going to work. Obviously, uh, it's too thin. Then it, it just needs to be kind of that uh, uh, consistency where it's brushable, right? And and you 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 you'll kind of see. Just add add a little bit of water of time, not too much water. Um, uh, the, the, what you saw today is really one bag of seal. I used an entire bag to cover this. Um, 
uh, and it covered quite it quite a quite quite a bit here, right? Um, the other thing you want to do is once once the thorough seal is dried after seven days, you want to wash it with salt water. I basically, I take a pound of salt, throw it in a in a, in a gallon or four gallon bucket of water, um, and then I wash the walls. And it really just cleans the walls, anything that's kind of loose, and you know if there's anything left over from thorough seal or anything that's kind of leaching, then then it kind of washes the walls and uh, it doesn't doesn't allow you to allow that to go into the pond, right? So you really want to make sure that the walls are are actually clean there, right? And after seven days, you can you can put water in and and, and start using your pond. Um, as as I mentioned, um, the the krill sixty. Um, I couldn't really find a lot of information on it. They kind of recommend to use it with Thorosio. Uh, to me, I think it's a bit of a scam, but uh, you know, maybe someone out there can tell me if it's not. But basically, it's, it's kind of this, this glue that you add on, onto it. It's an extra $30. Uh, it's supposed to give you a better adhesive, but I'm not sure it really does. Uh, but anyway, I just use it to be safe. Um, seems to work for me, and maybe, maybe that's why I've been so, so lucky with the pond, right? So anyway, that's just my thoughts about a Krill 60. If you guys want to see what my pond looks like, I have a full blog uh, documenting it, the building of it and the use of the Thoroseal product. So uh, take a look uh, if you guys want some more information. Good luck.